Welcome to our farm. requested in the past for me to do this video I am finally giving it to you. I'm going to give you a tour of our farm. Welcome to the Yati Firma. a brief idea. Nung 2011 namin itong na-acquire itong land na to. It was a raw land. Actually, wala siyang kahit na anong tanim isang puno lang. We discovered this place through Tita Isabel Rivas. And then, in-invite niya kami dito sa farm ni Enzambales. Not so far away from here. And so, sabi niya merong ipapakita sa aming lupa. At first, na totoo lang, back then I was very young, naisip ko, kaya na ba namin mag-farm? Or is it worth it? Or matututukan ba namin? And so, I asked my mom if she was interested. And syempre, initially, parang naisip niya, tatapon mo ba ako? Na hanggang ngayon, sinasabi niya yun. But then, we are so glad that we bought this piece of land because now it's beautiful. Siyempre, hindi rin to naging kompleto kung hindi kami natulungan ng mga friends dito sa, sa mga karatig farms namin like si um, Sir Edward Tyrus, who used to be an American soldier. Na dito na rin siya nag-retire. Na ngayon, family friend na namin. So, tinulungan niya kami lagyan ng, ng fence yung buong property. Siya yung naggawa ng perimeter. And also, this pathway was built by Oliver Abraham. Siyempre, no man is an island. Alam mo that you will need a lot of help from different people. And most importantly, since hindi kami taga-Zambales, we are so glad na mababait yung mga tao dito at nakakasunod talaga namin silang lahat. And I feel happy that my mom is safe here and so is my brother and his family and of course my stepdad. I'm just so glad that everything came together and now I can finally show it to you. So behind me are our mahogany trees. Yung perimeter ng buong land namin, napapalibutan siya ng mahogany trees. They are 8 years old now. As you can see, medyo nalipis pa siya. Ibig sabihin, baby pa siya. But they're actually good investments because in the future, um, bibilhin siya ng mga furniture designers for a very, very good price. And actually, aesthetically, ang ganda niya rin tignan. And um, nung tinanim siya ni Mama, it used to be 5,000. But then, nung nag-hit yung bagyong Ulysses, may isang nabuwal. So ngayon, hindi ko na siya makiklaim na 5,000. It is now 4,990. Okay lang. Tutubo pa siya ulit. Sobrang cute nga kasi parang nag Farmville si Mama. Talagang yung distance ng mga trees are perfectly placed. Naglagay din siya ng mga signages. Hindi ko alam bakit <laughs> Basha yung nilagay niya. Akala niya siguro dito nakatara si Basha. Kalimutan yung anak niya si Bea talaga. <laughs> Totoo mo ka siyang restaurant. Pero ang cute, <laughs> ang cute naman ni Mama. Papatayin niya pag hindi ko pinakita to dahil pinaghirapan niya. Yeah, my mom has a house. I think the house of Basha she's referring to the guest rooms. And the house of Santiago, Shanta si Santiago, is my nephew who is now turning actually one this April. From our fence, makikita nyo yung view of the mountains and the beautiful cows that we have. Meron palang time of the day na nandun lang sila sa isang area. And then tuwing hapon, nandito na sila. It's probably because gusto nila na ipakain din yung grass area na yun. At para hindi rin magkagulo-gulo at hindi mahirap ipastol yung mga baka. And I like how our farm is actually the perfect size for the number of cows that we have. Kasi hindi sila nag-aagawan sa pagkain. I'm very proud to say that we have an organic farm. We don't do feeds. We don't do antibiotics. Um, we also don't do sprays or pesticides. We don't use them for our farm. So actually, it's all natural. And it makes me so happy that it's also earth-friendly. Kasi kahit yung mga basura namin, pinaghihiwa-hiwalay namin at walang, walang nasasayang. So you will see all over the farm that we have solar-powered light posts. So kahit na gabi, kapag bumasok ka sa farm namin, maliwanag siya. And what's nice is that it's sustainable. You don't need to pay for electricity just to light up the entire place. At night, automatically, pag dumili, mag-oon na silang lahat. So I'm glad that my mom was able to invest in those lights. These are our mango trees. Ngayon, meron na siyang flowers. Ibig sabihin, malapit na siyang mabunga kasi yung season talaga ng mga mangga, April or May. And in between our mango trees are calamansi trees. Dito, kumikita talaga sila. Nagbibenta sila ng mga calamansi dito sa, sa Zambales kasi ang dami namin calamansi trees. Nandito naman, katabi ko, yung katiwala namin, manager ng farm, si Doy. Ilang years ka na dito, Doy? Ano po? Eight. 
So siya yung talagang mas may alam dito sa farm kaya dapat samahan niya ako in during this place. Kasi ginagawa nila ng mga baka doon sa golf cart. Yung <laughs> phone baka sasakmalin. <laughs> baka lulukin niya yung phone ko. Bigyan mo naman kami ng tour doon sa place mo lang kasi meron silang parang community na to doon sa other side yung mga bahay namin nila mama dito sa other side of the farm mga bahay naman.